Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my Hershey chocolate pudding dessert. So let's get started. I have a 13 by 9 baking dish. I'll spray the bottom of my baking dish with some cooking spray. Then I'll place some graham crackers on top. So I coated my baking dish with cooking spray. So now I'll line it with the graham crackers. So I lined my baking dish with the graham crackers and this is a 13 by 9 baking dish. This is my Hershey pudding pie. So now I'll take one container of pudding, make it according to the directions on the package. So it'd be three cups of milk and this package is 5.9 ounce. So I'll place it in a bowl with three cups of milk. Mix it until it's nice and thick. Now you'll mix this until it's firmed up. So now that this is all mixed, I'm going to add in 16 ounces of Cool Whip. So now I'll take this container of Cool Whip, which is 16 ounces. I'll add it into the pudding mixture. You want to make sure it's well combined. Now that it's well combined, I'll pour half of this mixture on top of my graham crackers. Spread it evenly. So now I'll put another layer of graham crackers on top and Hershey chocolate bar. It's the dark, the special dark that I'm using and it's 7.56 ounce. It's the giant candy bar. I'll break it into pieces and then lay it on top of the graham crackers. So now that I have my layer of graham cracker on top, I'll take the candy bar. So I took the Hershey bar and I'm cutting it into smaller pieces. I'll place them on top of the graham crackers. Now I'll place the rest on, spread it out, so this is the giant Hershey bar which is 7.56 ounces cut up, looks like on top of the graham crackers. Now I'll add the rest of the pudding and Cool Whip mixture on top. You'll smooth it out, covering that layer. And that's what it looks like. 
For the topping, I have my three tablespoons of butter. I have my one cup of the morsels. Now I'll eyeball in three teaspoons of vanilla extract. One, two, three. Now I'll place this in my microwave until it's nice and melted. With the one and a half cups of confectionery sugar, I actually added in four tablespoons of the heavy whipping cream. So now I'll take my chocolate and mix it in with the confectionery sugar and mix it until it's well combined. And this is what it looks like all mixed together, the confectionery sugar in the morsels. So now I'll place it on top, place it in my fridge for about three hours. You just blend it and mix it in with the Cool Whip and Pudding mixture. It'll make a nice topping. So I'm kind of spreading the chocolate along with the pudding and Cool Whip mixture. So into the fridge it goes for about three hours. It's been three hours and I took my Hershey pudding dessert out of the fridge. So now I'll cut a piece out and see how it nicely firmed up. So I cut a piece out, put it on my plate. Doesn't that look good? So now I'll try a bite. Mmm really good mm -mm -mm. this is really really good mm -mm -mm. well thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of cheryl's home cooking and watching make my homemade hershey pudding dessert i'll see you guys next video bye bye <laughs>